Today is Saturday, April 14th, 2012, and we are in interviewing James McDermott in Springfield, Illinois. James, can you tell us where you, you were born and your birthday? Mount Vernon, Illinois, at 112446. Okay, my name is Cheryl Walker, and I'll be interviewing you. James, could you state for the record what war and branch of service you served in? I served during 67 and 68 in uh, Europe, in Germany, okay, and in the Army, uh, third, yeah. third Armor Division. Okay. What was your rank? E5 when I got out. Okay. And you served in Germany. Where in Germany? Schweinfurt. What was your job and your assignment? I, uh, at first, when I first got over there, I was a, a record driver for recovering Jeeps and trucks and stuff that broke down. <clears throat> and then I, and after I was there for a little while, they moved me to armor. I was in armor division. They moved me to armor recovery, recovery army trucks, armor that broke down. I serviced them and worked on them. I was a mechanic, senior diesel mechanic is what it was. That's my classification. Tell us about staying in touch with your family. I was over there for several months and I didn't get, uh, I just wrote letters once in a while. I didn't really stay in touch with them. I couldn't call them, it was too expensive back in 67, 68. Now you got a cell phone, you can <laughs> call them anytime you want to, but I couldn't back then. Were you actually stationed on a base or was it a mobile unit? No, I was actually stationed in Swineford. Germany, which was the 3rd Armored Division, and I uh, went out on maneuvers and we was on the Czechoslovakian border up there by Wurzburg and Frankfurt, I think it was. Frankfurt and Wurzburg, yeah. Was it actually, was it a combat unit or? Yeah. It was. 3rd Armored. What was the food like? Pretty good. It was decent. Did you have sea rations? Yeah, they were good. <laughs> did you have a lot of supplies or did you lack supplies? We were fairly, uh, as far as equipment and stuff, we were using older equipment and was breaking down quite a bit and stuff. So most of the newer stuff was, I guess, back in the States. I don't know where it was at, but we didn't get very much new stuff at all. <clears throat> Did you do or have something special for good luck? I do or something special. No, not really. No, you didn't have a lucky coin that you took with you or carry a picture in your hat? No, <laughs> sure did. How did you entertain yourself? Well, we would we'd go downtown looking for antiques and stuff, and they, there's a Swineford was a fairly large town, I think. It used to be a bearing factory or something back during World War II, and it was all blown up. And there was a few taverns and uh, some antique shops and stuff like that, and, and places, cafes. But most of the time, I was I was uh, working or I was on in the maneuvers on the up on the border. Did you get to send a lot of antiques or a lot of things? I sent back about 10, 8 or 10 cuckoo clocks. Do you still have that? Got three of them left. Three of them left. <laughs> did you, um, how did you entertain yourself? I think I already asked that. Oh, we had, we had, uh, I was for, I'm sorry, we did have a, a show and a, uh, clubs and stuff there on base. We had picture shows and stuff that we got to go see occasionally. What kind of pictures or movies did the you one, see? The only one I can remember was that, uh, Jerry Lewis and the, I was trying to think of that during night, that Jerry Lewis and the uh, doctor, uh, the animal doctor, what was, what was he, he, he uh, well, I can't even think of the name of it now. He, he would, he was a, a goofy guy and then he would, he'd be all, uh, his hair would be all slicked back and he'd be uh, dancing and singing. And I can't think of the name of that stupid serial. That's the that's one I still don't like remember going to see him. Nutty, pro nutty professor or something like that, yeah. Nutty professor. 
did you get to take leave? I did. I did. I took some leave while I was in winter. And where did you go? I traveled up and down the uh, uh, river, and I can't think of their name. <laughs> oh, gee, I'm getting too old. Uh, the main river. Right. Mine, Mine River, yeah. The Mine River, and uh, went through some castles, went through some other towns up there and visited them. And I had, I enjoyed my free time over there. It was pretty good. Have you been over there since? No, I have. I, I would like to go back. It's probably changed a lot since I was over there. Do um, you recall any particular humorous or unusual event while you were stationed over there? No. You mean an event that uh, happened to me, or? Mm -hmm. Or an event that happened while you were over there? Yeah, I, I was over there in 68 when Russia invaded Prague, Czechoslovakia. And I, they put me up on the border between the two, two countries. What was that like? Well, I was up there five days and five nights without any sleep or anything, so you can imagine. It's, we uh, had a lot of... We were pretty scared in <laughs> that truth. But the Russians were shooting people and everything, killing everything that moved. That's what we heard. But they never did come across the border to us, or we'd have been waiting for them. Did, while you were over there with your unit, um, did you guys have any pranks that you pulled on each other? Did I have pranks? Uh, I'll better not do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did you think of your officers and fellow soldiers? Oh, I, I really enjoyed my service over there in Europe. I, I, I really did. I, <clears throat> we had a lot of maneuvers and stuff over there, and we, but I, I really enjoyed being over there. I, I probably should have stayed for a while longer, but it, Did you keep a personal diary? No, I didn't. I don't know anybody did either, really. Not over there. Do you recall the day your service ended? Over the, you mean when I come back? Yeah. What were you doing? You mean when they told, come told me I was... That your service was over? That you were finished with when you got out of the service? When I come back? Mm -hmm. When I'm back in the States? Yeah, I remember. It's uh, I come back and people speak English. I couldn't understand. <laughs> it was kind of weird hearing people talk like that. We would come in New York, and a guy was speaking, you know, New York accent. I kept trying to figure out what he was saying. Taxi cab driver. And I finally I said, "Talk slower, will you?" <laughs> so I can understand what you're saying. But I couldn't figure it out. But now then, after we we uh, in the United States for a while, then you could figure out what you're, you know, what they were saying. It was, it was kind of weird coming back. I didn't, didn't really believe it was, was getting out when I did. But they let me out a little early for, I had 30 days leave left and, and uh, I was supposed to get out in 69, uh, January 69, but they let me out for Christmas, come home for Christmas holidays, so that was nice of them. I had 30 days leave though, it would have extended past my time anyway, so it was, it was nice of them to let me out. Do you still stay in touch with any of the guys you were in no, the service? No, I don't. With? I wish I did, but I don't. I don't know where any of them's at. Most of the guys I were with were from Michigan, Puerto Rico, uh, New Orleans, and Arkansas. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, I haven't. I haven't stayed in touch with any of them. After you got out, did you go to work or did you go to school? Well, I already had over almost two years of college, but so I went ahead and just got going to draw an employment for a while, but I didn't get to. I, was, I got I hired, I got hired on the job and I got married and got kids and had to settle down. So I didn't get to even draw any unemployment. <laughs> what did you do after? 
I was an office mechanic. My dad owned a junkyard in Mount Vernon, Illinois. Uh, so I knew cars pretty good and trucks. And then I had all my schooling in the Army when I was in the Army. So I could run bulldozers or anything else. And I worked at a meat packing plant down in Mount Vernon and uh, worked there eight years. And I worked at Illinois Power for 20 years. That's the extent of my work, 28. How has your service and experience affected your life? Well, I got hurt real bad while I was, while I was in there. And, uh, I guess I just, I'm just getting older faster than what I really think I should be. My legs hurt, my back hurts. And, uh, not get, I'm not really used to it, you know. I'm used to doing anything I want, anything you want to do, but the last few years I haven't been able to. That's kind of messes me up. Is there anything you'd like to add? No, it was a pleasure serving my country, and I, and I really enjoyed it, and, and uh, I'd do it again if I had to, even right now. That's all I need. That's all. That's all I need to say. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for your time. I want to thank you for serving our country, and it was an honor in interviewing you. Well, thank you very much.